Jesus ate with a surprising crowd. Back in Jesus' day, who you had at the table was a big deal. Tables were sacred spaces. As a way to guard against the idolatry and sexually rowdy behavior of Greco-Roman dining culture, table etiquette became a defining trait for first century Jews. You can ask Paul how complicated this stuff got for the early church. While they were trying to live out obedience to God at the table, remember, they did have food laws. Many of the other teachers of Jesus' day kept getting more and more limited on just who God invited to the table. The table, for better or worse, was a way of getting to know who was in and who was out, who was us and who was other. They got really carried away with this and even pickier than God. Then comes Jesus. Let's check out his table manners. Once again, Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him and he began to teach them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him, and Levi got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. After another invitation to follow him, Jesus sits at the table with this new disciple, a tax collector named Levi, also known as Matthew, and his sketchy work associates. These guys had a shady reputation. The Erdman's Bible Dictionary paints them well enough. Greedy and cruel profiteers who would collect more than the Roman government required and pocketed the rest. These aren't role model citizens, much less discipleship material, right? Was Jesus supposed to eat with these outsiders? Just what is Jesus up to here? Was it okay for him to share the table with these guys who didn't seem to follow God very well? The Dictionary of Biblical Imagery points out that the stories of Jesus' table fellowship with a variety of people and his reputation as a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, as it says in Matthew 11:19, point out the extraordinary place of eating and banqueting in his ministry. James Resigui gives us a takeaway from Luke's account of the same story. Thus, table fellowship, as Jesus envisions it, is not the like-minded sharing a meal with the like-minded sinner with sinner or righteous with righteous, but the crossing of boundaries, sinner and righteous sharing a meal. A meal is an occasion to receive the other, the stranger, the one at the margins. The refusal to receive the other has crippling consequences for the spiritual life. Resigui is right. Meals mean a lot. Something happened at that table. Jesus didn't become an outsider at the table of outsiders, though that's what the Pharisees saw, but rather he went to invite others in. It's this kind of stuff that Brendan Byrne calls the hospitality of God. Let me quote him here, speaking of Jesus in this scene. He does not acquire uncleanness from association with sinners. Rather, his company extends acceptance, forgiveness, and inclusion to them. And it happens at the table, eating together. Remember where this meeting Jesus at the table thing goes. That's right, to communion, the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist. It's another link with the OG Exodus. Jesus on Passover, inviting people to celebrate their impending freedom through the sacrifice he was about to make. In order to be at a table for captives to celebrate their coming redemption, you have to admit that you're a captive. In other words, a sinner. Indeed, Jesus eats with sinners, and it is only those who admit that they are sinners that can hear Jesus' dinner invitation. Would you spoil your reputation enough to eat with Jesus, to admit that you are a sinner, a sick one, someone in need of help? Would we, like Jesus, set a wide table, inviting even the most unlikely into this Exodus journey? WWWJE, with whom would Jesus eat? Thank you.